Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to start your PowerPoint presentation that you're going to work on with someone collaboratively. I'm going to have you um, open a new tab and then type Google Drive. You all should have a Gmail account because you had to set that up at the beginning of the class. If you didn't, because you plan on doing your uh, blog somewhere else, you're going to need um, to set up a Google um, account for this now. So I'm going to click on Google Drive. It takes me to mine. This is other assignments I've I've had on here for whatever reason. I um, am going to go up here and I'm going to click create and I want a presentation because this is a PowerPoint. Once it pulls that up it's going to let me choose a theme. You can scroll down and find something that you like here. I'm going to choose one. Okay. Then um, there are different things you can do here. If you want to look through this, it'll give you some ideas you can do. This is for animations. If you want your um, words or pictures or whatever to come in, fly in or fade in, that's where you'll look if you want to do something like that. That's not required. This is just an opportunity for you to work collaboratively uh, using technology. So you can go through any of this. Um, you can change your title presentation. Mine is uh, Collaborative PowerPoint Presentation. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, this, remember this um, is supposed to be about learning with technology, your PowerPoint. So I'm just going to put that as my title. You might have something different for your title depending on what you're going to focus on. I could also put who um, the authors of it are here. Whatever you want to put there. When you've got this slide done, you can add another. The next slide, just click that button and here we go. In addition to these slides, you know, you have your bulleted or your short things here and you don't want to make this so lengthy because when you're doing a PowerPoint presentation you don't want to sit there and just read, read, read to them. You want to talk and you don't, and if they can read it on the screen, what's the point of you reading it? So here's your short little things you want to remember, but down here at the bottom they have a place where you can click to add notes. That's where if up above you have something and you want to remember to say something about that, down here you would type those notes. Uh, remember to discuss the print screen button. You know, like if, if I'm talking about m my new um, my new computer and it's got a new print screen button that's in a different location and does uh, more than like it used to do on the other printers or some uh, computers or something. You know, it's just something you want to remember to say as you're going through your slides here. That's the point of that. So be sure to include some things down here there so I can kind of get an idea of what you might want to add. Now, if I go up here, right now this presentation is private to me and only me. You have to give access, first of all, to the other person you're working with, and I don't know, you know, I'll post that in the other, in Edmodo, so that you can see who you're working with, and you guys will have to talk between yourselves and see who wants to open the um, PowerPoint, but then you have to send them an email, so you'll have to put that person's um, email in here. In addition to copying that other person, you will also need to copy me, invite me, so that I can view it. So um, my email is julie.mosier at iwc.edu. Uh, be sure that you put me in there. You're, the person that you're working with, you want it to say, can edit. I don't need edit capabilities. You might want to let me comment if you want to get comments back on something, or you can just let me view if you just want me to look at it and, and you're not interested in any comments. You choose what you want me to do, but then once you have that in, you leave this checked because you're sending this out via email. You click share and save, and then um, it will add that person here so that uh, you can see who all has access to your your presentation. So it'll be your partner here as an edit, it'll be me as whichever you choose, and once you have that, you click done. 
and then when you go up here you can see now it's private to me plus one more or two more it should say when you're finished setting yours up so um, that's about it for this I am going to put this into Edmodo and then I will also put the list of partners and a reminder of what the uh, topic is I will also be putting the rubric for this in the folders in your document folder so be sure to look at the rubric too all right